Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. So you want to learn about biomedical engineering? Well, you've come to the second best place. Biomedical engineers use biology, medicine, and engineering to design and create equipment, devices, and computer systems used in healthcare today. Their work includes artificial organs, surgical robots, and advanced prosthetics, as well as new drugs in pharmaceuticals. So one of the characteristics you need as a biomedical engineer is a willingness to teach others, especially when they're brand new to the job. Hello? Uh, yeah, the, the kitchen's downstairs. Stop abajo. Kitchen? No, fool. I'm here for the job. Wait, you're here for the job? Yeah. W where did you go to school? Uh, Harvard. Harvard? You went to Harvard. Yeah. The one in Massachusetts. Yeah, fool. The one in Massachusetts. Okay. Okay. Another ability a biomedical engineer needs is the ability to think analytically. What's 9 plus 10? 21. And solve problems. 2 times 5 equals. <laughs> and you said you were good at math? Another characteristic is a willingness to improve skills and knowledge on an ongoing basis. One of the things a biomedical engineer does is design robotics in order to assist in surgery. And build advanced prosthetics that we use in our everyday lives. So, Matt, I'm going to go and turn on the arm. Try and go up. Okay. And back I already down. did the robotic arm, right? Yeah. This is the most complex Three, robotic two, arm in existence one. today. You can control that using thought from the brain. As humans, we are tool users. And every time we invent a new tool, arm, that right? changes the way yeah, fool. we live. Outside of Baltimore, Maryland, the Applied Physics Laboratory, a branch of Johns Hopkins University, is an unlikely incubator for robotics that are pushing the limits of human-machine interfaces. Thanks in part to a DARPA program started in 2005, engineers have developed the Modular Prosthetic Limb, a bionic arm that responds to human thought, creating a new generation of robotics that can seamlessly integrate with our bodies. This technology is still relatively new, and the effects that robotic bodies will have on our future are already raising serious social and ethical questions. There's a lot of interest in how this is affecting the way we evolve. Where's this all go in the future? You know, I think we're just at the beginning. It could be tremendous. Scientists are trying to bridge the gap, but it's the patients that will push the limits of this technology forward. The average salary is $88,000 a year. But in San Diego, it is 33% below national average at $50,296 a year. The job will grow at 7% as fast as average between the year 2016 and 2026. The education required for biomedical engineering is a bachelor's degree at entry level and a need to stay updated in modern medicine trends. So even if you finish school, you never really stop learning. Potential hiring sources include hospitals, universities, research organizations, diagnostic 
and medical instrumentation manufacturers and charities. An organization that helps biomedical engineers is known as the American Institute of Medical and Biological Engineering, also known as AB. They help recognize and honor contributions and achievements in the field of medical and biological engineering. They help set events and lectures in order to help them stay relevant in today's modern medicine. The pros of becoming a biomedical engineer is one, they are suitable for creative problem solvers. Two, they have high salary. I gotta do it, man. Dude. Mm. What are you doing? Huel! Mm. Hey, quit screwing around! Mm. We are here to do a job, not channel Scrooge McDuck. You hearing me? I hear you. Dude. Mm. And three, people work as a team, but can also work independent. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of the team. Everything is awesome. When we live in our dreams. The cons are one, it's not suitable for people who completely want to work alone. Fly home, buddy. I work alone. Two, it's hard to get into, requires a lot of skill and education, and there is a need to keep learning even after school is done. Three, long work hours. But biomedical engineering is not just one person learning everything, but a broader field. There are different areas of focus and subdivisions, such as biomedical electronics, orthopedic bioengineering, and computational biology. They are just some of the many focuses in the field. In conclusion, the world of medicine is advancing every day. The creations built by engineers will only become more and more prevalent in everyday life. From robotic surgeons to robotic prosthetics, Medicine will surely keep moving forward and you can be sure a biomedical engineer will be one of the many leading the way. This video was brought to you by bls.gov, mendeley.com, guides.libraries.psu.edu, cmbes.ca, targetjobs.co.uk, indeed.com, owlguru.com, youtube.com, and amb.org. And viewers like you, thank you. What? What are you still doing here? Get out of here, it's over. No, seriously, it's over.